At this point, mm -hmm. Sensei is striking, standing still. You can see the rotation of the Shinai at the balance point rather than from his wrist as he brings his hand up. Uh, I'm gonna go frame by frame to understand it. So he, he throws the arm forward and rotates the Shinai on that balance point. It's more evident towards the end of the swing, right? So like right about here, you can start seeing how he let the Shinai do its thing where he wants to rotate. In this way, uh, you don't have to fight gravity. The Shinai will do uh, much of it for you. So we're having a little bit of the same thing now from a little bit of a further distance. It's just the same with Sensei stepping forward. Fumi coming, Fumi Kitty. This is what I was talking about when it comes to the, the skill for the for the back leg, because I cannot say left or right because it can be switched, obviously. An enormous a part of your, you know, the energy, the power for your attack comes mm. from the rear leg. Fumi Correct. Kitty is so key to proper kendo. So now we're starting to see a little bit more shoulder control as, as approaching the target, right? Yeah, you know, a little bit of Osai steadily holding down the Shinai uh, very gently. Something I want to explore a little bit with you, the timing of engagement, right? Because normally, especially when I'm doing small men, the way I try to see it, I try to keep my hands to myself until about the time when I engage the Fumikiri. So what is the right time to engage the Shoto and what's the right time to engage the Daito when it comes to that? I believe the timing between Shudan and Nito is uh, basically the same. You want everything to happen simultaneous. You want the, uh, the work with the Shoto and the Daito and Fumikomi to happen at the same time so that there's no clue given early as to what you're doing. You don't want to, for instance, strike their sword out of the way with Harai Mm -hmm. and then wait a beat and then strike men because they'll recover. You want your Fumikomi, Fumikiri, Kodachi, Daito all working in unison. So let's break it down slow motion if you don't mind for a second here. He's approaching. Now I see a slight reach, right? Like he's uh, slightly moving the hand as well when he starts moving the body. And that's I'm guessing to kind of offset the timing between his body movement and the sword getting there now at this point obviously he caught on to the sword now he has control much harder for the ito player to pretty much do anything right right about the time when he shoots right the body mm -hmm. goes goes for that strike again a little bit of slow motion again you can see it by the extension of the toes he starts the motion with the top hand down as he engages the the back leg and then he does the Tenouchi pretty much the same way as we do men, right? Engages that hand right at the moment that he pushes off with the Fumikiri. Very That's interesting. Right. If you like this video, you may also enjoy this other one from one of my previous streams talking about how to improve your Debana Waza. Please take a second to hit the like button. It really helps the channel. Subscribe if you haven't. This way you will know when I go live so you can be part of my future streams know when I post new videos and overall help this channel grow. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this with someone you want their channel to improve.